Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Our buddy Arcady is back. He's a <coughs> world international traveling Jew. Uh, hi, Aaron. New video request for you. Please provide your price. Where do you believe it is more wise to invest long-term rental property? Sacramento or Austin, Texas, and why? I'm talking about a small place with a total price of 200000 or less. This would be an all-cash purchase of a two- to three-bedroom place. Here are the pros and cons of each city. Ideally, I would like my rental property to also be a place where I could potentially move and live in. That's what makes Sacramento more appealing. I live in San Francisco and go to Sacramento for work quite, quite often, which is an hour and a half drive away. I went to school in Sacramento and I'm generally familiar with the area. I'm a lawyer by trade and I'm only licensed to practice in California. Thus, living in Sacramento doesn't sound like a big mystery if, and if need be, I would move there. Austin sounds appealing because it's quite a bit cheaper than Sacramento and you get more for your buck there. In addition, as we all know, many big tech companies plan to move to the Austin area, so a big growth is anticipated there that might or might not turn Austin into the next San Francisco. Well, then why would you want to live there? However, my concerns are that I have never been to Austin, let alone live there. I'm not licensed to work there, although passing their bar, if absolutely necessary, is an insurmountable, insurmountable task. I have no connection to Texas whatsoever, so I don't know if investing in such a random place is necessarily a good idea just because of the expected tech boom there. I can imagine that you would highly recommend reconnaissance as the first step, which I plan to do in the near future. Your thoughts are much appreciated. Thanks, Arcady. Yeah, I, this, is a, this is a point where I charge you so little. There's no point in having this conversation until you've gone there. Um, and here's the, you're, you're, if you want to invest in property, you're doing it all the wrong way. Because unless you plan it on living there, which pays you a dividend of not having to pay rent, then you might as well be investing in a real estate investment trust, which is a, uh, a mutual fund of real estate, different properties. It's more diversified, less managerial expense. Um, you get a dividend, whereas most properties you have to pay income tax, or sorry, property taxes. And... To buy, pro unless unless you're like buying acres and that was your gig, that was your, your, your business, a single professional guy like you, unless you're going to live in there, should not be buying property unless you plan to live there. Um, so right now, the best choice would be Sacramento, but I wouldn't, you're in fucking California. Fuck that shit. Every guy and gal's strategy who are in California, is to make as much money and then get the fuck out of there as quickly as possible. You make California money, you live as cheap as you possibly can, you build up the cash, and you go buy property where it's a lot cheaper, and then you retire. Um, so this is why I asked about where you would like to inevitably retire and live, and you said Tel Aviv, um, because of reasons I don't need to go into why, but it's just as expensive as San Francisco. And said you, you said you'd also be okay with Turkey or Greece. I'd go, well, now that I think about it, I'd probably go Turkey before I go Greece because they got a communist president in Greece, I still think. Um, and they might just decide to take your property. Um, whatever criticisms you might have of Islam, they've been known to allow Jews and Christians to live. You just have to pay a tax there. And I don't think Turkey even has those uh, archaic laws that traditional Islam or Muslim... Um, Empires did long ago. But I would trust the Muslims before I trust the communists. Still, if you could swing it, here's what I would do. If you really want to buy a single piece of property and you really want to retire in Tel Aviv, I would buy a piece of property now under the assumption you could find a good piece of property, rent it out, cash flow it out, and have someone over there manage it. Maybe you have a brother or a sister that you trust that will look after the place for you. They will pay you rent and will not be a cash drain on your finances. Um, over time, no doubt its value will go up because it's about the only stable country in that area. Uh, and no matter how many people hate the Jews, <laughs> there are hardworking people and they work smart. 
And so there's going to be economic production. So I think the asset will go up in value unless you're invaded and taken over. Um, you know, there's always risk in everything. I think Turkey, well, sadly, would be the second. Greece, I won't know. Until they got rid of their communist fucking president, no. You don't invest in communist countries. Um, but that's that's a big if. you got to find the right property. you got to go back to Tel Aviv. you got to find it. You have to have, eh, is your brother going to live there for a while or is he just going to live there for two years and then get married and go somewhere else? Honestly, dude, if you want to invest in property, uh, just invest in a real estate investment trust. Which one, I don't know. You're going to have to do your own research. They'll give you all the benefits of investing in property with the manager, with none of the managerial headaches. None. And then, down the road, when you're ready to get out of California, you cash that in, and at least you have a very large down payment that you can use to buy a piece of property in a place you live. But I, and here's another huge thing. This is another huge problem. Tel Aviv, really, if you if you had to invest in property now, I'd still say Tel Aviv, because at least you know you want to be there. Every other place, you don't know, you've not even been to Austin. So if we take Tel Aviv off the table, you need to go and recon these places. You absolutely have to check these places out. You just don't buy a property without knowing that you want to live there or not. Um, and Austin, you know, that's a liberal town in a, in a conservative state. Maybe the suburbs of Austin, uh, certainly the county outside of Austin. Uh, but even then, you could do all the right top-down analysis. Real estate, if you're buying a specific piece of property, the biggest determining factor as to whether or not that property will be a, 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 profitable, a profitable investment is that individual property. The traits of that individual property, the, the, the condition of the house, uh, anything with the property, what kind of water rights. The, the, so it is a very individual specific investment that you can't just buy like a common share of stock that is uh, uh, homogenous to all the other shares of stock. Each property is unique and different and requires its own individual analysis. So the first thing you got to do is you got to go travel and figure out if you want to live in these places. Um, the second thing is, you say, okay, I want to live there. When do you want to live there? If it's going to be 20 years from now, just throw that damn money in a real estate investment trust. You can maybe, <clears throat> if you know you're going to be in San, Sacramento and San Francisco for a while, all right, then maybe you buy a, a starter home or some kind of, you know, duplex to kind of get by. But even then, man, I just, I have a hard time investing in California. Um, it just, it's just a shithole, just a shithole. Um, and a headache. So I would aim for the stars, man. If your goal, your life goal, is to retire in Tel Aviv, contact your contacts in Israel and find out if it might be possible that you buy a property. Don't go halvesies. Don't go, oh, well, I'll throw in some money. You no, 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 no. You own the property. Take out a mortgage. Have somebody rent it out. So See if that's a way to wing it because then 20 years from now, there'll be a ton of fucking equity in that thing. You'll hopefully have paid it off. And then you'll have your property where you want to live. You know? Even though it's very expensive. But in the meantime, I would be very reluctant to be buying property outside, especially outside of states where you you can't work. I, I, would, I would not. You're kind of stuck in California. And you don't even know if you like Texas. Go to Texas. You may find out you hate rattlesnakes. I don't know that everybody likes rattlesnakes. But you got a lot more research to do about where you want to be and what you want to do in life before you find out where you're going to invest in property. All right, there you go. Questions, answers, wisdom, assholeconsulting.com. Check out all the links below. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.